Barack Obama ran one of the great campaigns in the history of the United States of America. He started off way, way behind African American running for president. You gotta be kidding. And yet he mobilized people all over this country, created an enthusiasm and excitement that had not been seen for many, many years. Now, what was the mistake that Barack Obama made? The mistake is because he is a decent guy, he believed that he could get into the White House and then start negotiating with right wing Republicans. Mm -hmm. And I know he how believed, that turned look, out. We're not going to get it all, but we're going to sit down, we're going to reach some kind of decent compromise. He was wrong in two regards. Number one, right wing Republicans never, ever, ever had any intention of negotiating with them. Their goal was to obstruct, 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 and I'm in the Senate, I saw it firsthand, almost impossible to get anything done without 60 votes, delay, delay, delay. But here is the second mistake that he made, and that is the powers that be, and I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but this is the simple truth. The powers that be in Washington, corporate America, Wall Street, big campaign donors, the Koch brothers, all of these guys have so much power over the legislative process that no president, not Obama, not Sanders, not anybody else, can get it done unless tens of millions of people are standing up loudly and clearly and saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm going to demand more from you than any other candidate. Yes, I need your support to win here in South Carolina and to win this election. But that is not enough. I cannot do it alone. You have got to be with me in the campaign. But if you think you're going to disappear the day after the election, you are mistaken. We've got to do this together. I'm with you, man. I'm with you.